Oh, Lord. And <clears throat> I'm making this video for all of my fellow Honda 2 owners. Uh, whether you have a Honda 2, I have a Honda 2002 Accord. And we're going to experiment uh, with overheating. Now, I've looked at previous videos. I'm no mechanic. But from the other videos, I guess you can call this an add-on. Um, it seems like after doing all of the checks and the test, um, it seems like I need a water pump. So, here's the problem. I'm not at home. I am actually at work. Now, the funny thing is about these Hondas is that, you know, if you're at work or you're out somewhere and you have an O2 Honda that's giving you the same problems that I have, okay, what up, though? What up, though? Then you're going to have to do a little you know, mending. Now, I've heard people say, you know, that the O2 Honda is supposed to have water in the radiator. Now, me personally, I've never put water inside of a car. And I wouldn't advise for you to do that. I would let a mechanic uh, do that if that was required. But what we are going to do now is we're going to take an overheating Honda and we're going to drive that motherfucker about 15 to 20 miles. Okay, 15 to 20 miles to the repair shop. And we're probably going to be doing about 75, 80 miles an hour. So let's start with the repair first. Okay, show y'all what we're dealing with here. Okay, now, I've seen a lot of people with Hondas and they all reported the same problem. So, oh shit, don't fall on me, don't fall on me. Hold on y'all. Okay, so let's show y'all what we're dealing with here. Now, apparently all of this is fine. Okay, but in these Hondas, what's happening is that this overflow right here, okay, for some strange reason, it will start to pop and it, it'll do this, that, the other. But nine times out of ten, I'm guessing probably it's the water pump because I took it through all the other tests and it was doing fine. I don't think it's a fuse. I don't think any of that. So the thing is, we got to move this car. All right, we got to get the fuck on. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape up this overflow temporarily okay because you see it's really loose like it popped open okay that's really really loose I'm probably gonna have to get another uh, another overflow okay no it's not leaking I believe I'm pretty positive it's the it's the uh, it's the water pump because Everything I did to it, Mayor, so far it, 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 it passed all the other tests, but I mean, hell, out of all the work I've done on the car, I never got the water pump replaced. So, you know, it's an older model, uh, 02. So this car is 19 years old. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do here We're gonna try to. Oh, you know what? I, I forgot. We're gonna we're gonna seal that up. Okay, we're gonna seal that up so we can make it. You said turn the wrench. I don't know what you mean. So this right here is the overflow. Okay, you might have this issue if you decide to get you a 2002-2003 Honda. Just make sure you have you some tape on hand. Okay. And make sure you have you a little antifreeze on deck. You just 
gonna kind of wipe that real good. Okay, hold up. I put the phone down here. And wipe this other side. Okay, make sure you get on the inside of that cap. Try to get it as dry as possible. Okay. Then you're going to take a piece of tape and you want to kind of make it, you don't want to make that tape too big. Okay, you don't want to, you don't want to like, you don't have to put a whole bunch of tape on it. But, you know, I got, uh, this is Gorilla Tape. Okay. A lot of cars don't drive. When your water pump goes out, as soon as you start that sucker, it'll start to overheat. But with the Hondas, they are something special, okay? So I'm gonna cut me off a little piece here. <sighs> okay, you see this, this, this piece right here is actually a little too thick. So I'm gonna thin it down a little bit. Probably cut it right down here, down the middle. Okay, because remember, you just want to make it to where you're trying to go. Okay, so you take about a strip of so long, and um, you want to make sure, like I said, make sure that that nozzle is kind of dry, so you can get the tape around there. Hold on. And you put the tape on the edge, kind of press on it a little bit so it'll fit on the groove somewhat. Okay. This is a common problem with Hondas, okay? So, well, no, the thermostat's been replaced, but I didn't do the water pump. There's a lot of things I haven't done to the car. The water pump, I haven't changed that. I haven't changed the timing belts. You know, certain things I haven't done. So you see how I got that tape. I cut it in half and I, and I basically just went around the edges, okay? So now you just put your top back on and it should it should be a little bit harder to, to connect now that you put that on there. Okay, it's gonna act like a seal. Okay. Well my mechanic can't do it unless I pay him. So no, I haven't had it done because I didn't pay for it. There you go. Now, now, that is actually pretty tight. That is pretty solid, okay? So now that now that's down pretty tight. Now, remember, my engine's cold now. You don't say, don't do this on no hot-ass engine. My engine's ice cold. So now we're going to pop the top and see how much antifreeze we lost, if any. All right? You said if it's not leaking antifreeze from the water pump, then you're good. No, no, no. If the water pump is not pumping, which is somewhere under there, what happens, Mayor, is that this car will start to uh, burn antifreeze and it will kick off here and then you'll have a huge air pocket. OK, you'll have a huge air pocket in here and the pressure from that air will cause this overflow to pop off. Now, once this overflow pops off, your antifreeze is going everywhere. You see what I'm saying? You immediately overheat. Now you got to park and wait for the shit to cool down before you can close it back up because it won't pop from here, but it will pop from here. Okay? So, we're going to check our antifreeze. Now, that, that looks like it's pretty good. You can see that's not dry at all. That's not dry at all. So, we probably didn't even lose a whole lot. You see what I'm saying? So, hold on.
Okay, hold up. Damn it. Sit that up there. Okay. So I'm not even gonna add a whole lot because it didn't it didn't really lose that much. And remember, this is just for the old two Hondas. This ain't for no Chevy, no Dodge, no Fords, no Chryslers. All right, Hondas are, are foreign cars. Now I see it's drinking that. I'm pouring that antifreeze in. It's just drinking. So yeah, I'm positive it's the water pump. I'm positive it's the water pump because it's just drinking. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I'm pouring it in, and it's just drinking. Oh, the radiator been flushed, bro. We did the radiator flush already. The only thing that's not been done to this O2 Honda is the water pump. Okay, and she just a drinking. I spilled a little bit of it accidentally, but just want to make sure I, I cap off before I pull off. And she's steady drinking. All antifreeze burnt out of here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna look at the bottom. No dripping. No dripping. Okay. No dripping. I know she's going to hit bottom in, in a second, though. Okay, there we go. Now, this is another sign. Okay. Now, this thing was pretty full. I don't know if y'all remember. Y'all can see in the light. Okay. Now, look. You see? Okay, so yeah, all that antifreeze was gone. I spilled a little bit of it. We just gonna wipe that up right here. And like I said before, I'm not a mechanic, but I fuck with mechanics. So, all right. Squeeze that a little bit, just you know, just in case. Make sure it's pumping through. Which I believe it is. Yeah, that's that's in that hole. All right. So now we're gonna seal this back tight. Make sure that's tight is good. All right, that's nice and tight and good. Okay, <clears throat> wipe up some of the excess right there. All right, like I said, that's nice and tight. That ain't moving at all. That's real good. Okay, so y'all, I had to park this bitch halfway down the building because, like I said, it, it didn't it didn't even really start overheating until I. Pulled over, that's when I noticed it. Okay, so now now I'm pretty sure y'all know about the trick to see if it's you know you turn your AC on, you don't you know you just turn the car on, but you don't turn it over. 
You see if your fans cut on. All right. So you see, I turn my AC on. Right. And y'all see my fans working, so it, it ain't no fuses, it ain't no thing, it ain't none of that other shit, because my fans is working just fine. Okay, so it ain't that. But that's a quick that's you know, that's that's one way you could check. Alright. Officer. Officer, uh, who is that? Farva? Bro, I didn't I, I didn't spend over five grand on my Honda. You must be crazy. How much is a water pump? I, sp I spent five grand on my Honda in repairs. How much is a water pump? Seriously, bro? You better talk to somebody. I put a brand new axle on this bitch. I, I didn't put I didn't put new struts from the front to the back. What do you mean? Okay. So now that we've done our temporary fix, and remember, this is a temporary fix. This is not something I would advise for you to do um, and just continuously ride on it over and over and over again. Because the only thing that's going to happen is it's going to pop again. Okay? So, you know, if, if, if you're going through the scenario that I'm going through, my fans is working, um, you're not leaking anywhere, your fuses are, are, are okay, all right? Okay. Well, yeah, if the if the part was 300, then as a mechanic, you would probably, you know, uh, uh, work for $100 an hour, right, as a professional mechanic. At least I would think so. So, as you can see, we started her up. Engine sounds good. Okay. You said, oh, the part's not even 150? Well, that's good. I don't, well, see, I don't, I don't buy uh, uh, cheap basic parts for my car, bro. Now, I will tell you that. My shit gotta be brand new. Eventually, I'm gonna put a turbo in this bitch. It's gonna be like one of them Hondas that be racing. All right? Because I, I, you know, a lot of y'all are unaware of the power of the VTEC engine and, and the ability of the transmissions in Honda Accord Square, bro. Okay? It's like y'all don't have that uh, know-how. But we gonna school you today. Okay, because for a car to be overheating, it shouldn't really even make it like the average American car, it shouldn't even make it a hundred feet. Or what? Let's say 500 feet, right? If it's overheating, this motherfucker should overheat or start overheating. Okay. But we're going to put her on the freeway. Overheating. Okay. We're going to show you what Hondas do. No, 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 blessed always. I'm going to be like those people that got 300,000 miles on their Honda. You know, that comes from repairing it, right? It, they, they didn't just buy it and put 300,000 miles on it and didn't have to fix on it. You know, it's weird. I get it. People want to spend thirty and $40,000 for every car you buy. Well, hell, my grand total with the car and repairs is still under ten grand. You actually paid for the repairs of your car up front. And you still got to do oil changes and all that other extra shit, too. All right, y'all. We officially on the freeway. Okay. Let's see what she do. Huh? Let's see what she do. We need to make it all the way back to the crib. You understand? 
All right, we on the freeway. And we are doing about 80 miles an hour. Look, she ain't overheating. We doing 80 plus, she ain't overheating. Let's go. Let's go. All right, yeah. Okay. Let's see how far she go before that before that bitch pop. Okay. Let's see with my with my nigga, you know, Tyra would never recommend this. But he doesn't own a Honda. But all my 02 Honda owners, they going to be grateful right now. Cuz we floating down this bitch. Okay, tell me how far you get in a Cadillac with a bad water pump. Yeah, O2. All right. O2 riding like this. Yeah. Okay. Now trust me, you look on the road, you see cars that, that's 2015, 2016, 2017, and it looks like I'm passing the motherfuckers up in my punk ass hole too. I'm just saying. All right, with the bad water pump in it, floating. Oh, she doing 90 now. She doing 90 now. She doing 90. No overheat. She doing 90. No overheat. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay. I know y'all like buying Fords and Chryslers and BMWs and Mercedes and Audis and Lexuses and Cadillacs. Okay. But don't sleep. All right, this is the only car I know that can do this type of performance on a bad water pump. Only car I know that can do some shit like that. Okay. Now traffic getting a little congested. Why is niggas hitting their brakes in the left lane? We gonna find out. Okay, we gonna find out. Got one slow ass truck, probably driven by one of Tyra's relatives, slowing down in the left lane. Like what the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas today? Seriously. Okay. Around this time, I try to look for my opening. You understand? I look for my opening. Because I'm like, I need to get around these fools. Okay. All right, yeah. Oh shit, that looks like my opening. Let's get it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So again, I, I still don't understand what, 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 what's the difference in buying a new car. It's a bunch of new cars out here driving slow than a bitch. Okay? Bunch of new cars on some slow shit. Come on, man. Yeah, push up. Come on. Let's go. The fuck is going on here? This slow ass nigga here. All right? Yeah.
You know, this that morning traffic. I'll be trying to beat some of this shit before it get thick like this. All right, we moving slow because this motherfucker driving in that goddamn Silverado. Scared to drive that bitch. Look like a 2016, 17, 18. Okay? That's right. Get out the left lane, dog. I'm floating. You don't want to float with me. Get the hell out the lane. All right? Get the hell out the lane because we floating out here. Okay? Boom. Boom. All right, see, we got jackass number one and number two, huh? All right, yeah. And like I said, look at all this riding. Stepping on the gas, stepping on the brake. Okay, she still ain't pop. Now, once upon a time, I had a Chrysler uh, Concord. When that motherfucker would overheat, you couldn't go 15 feet. If you tried to go down two blocks, you was over with. Uh-huh. And like I said, she doing all this shit on the freeway. Oh, Lord, Jesus, man. Get over, dog. Yeah, man. Damn. So I say how far we done went so far. Probably about 10, 15 miles at best, right? Now we taking her on the street from the freeway. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I saw where the water pump was on this car, and boy, oh boy, my mechanic gonna be in for it. Because the fucking <laughs> the alternator is under the fucking distributor cap. All right, so now we back on the street. She's still riding. Okay. Now, what did this? Some goddamn gorilla tape. Okay, some gorilla tape. And that's crazy. Because the thing is, like I said, you know, from the constant heat, you don't want to ride on no gorilla tape for no long period of time. Because like I said, it's going to melt. It's going to... Uh, get too hot and then that tape will loosen up and it'll just it'll slide right off you ain't got to worry about it falling and tanking nothing but it, it'll still slide off okay but now we in regular traffic and we about to do something you ain't never supposed to do when a car is overheating do y'all know what that is yes come to a complete stop okay you know you're not supposed to do that when your car overheating because if you because if you because if you come to a complete stop what the fuck come on man it's a green light jesus but i want y'all to notice she still ain't overheating all right yeah amazing oh jesus i swear who the fuck is this in front man I'm about to press the shit out of their ass. All right, we got some nine driving ass niggas out here today. Come on, man. What the fuck is going on? Got motherfuckers playing with a truck. 
Like seriously though, come on man. Like it can't be, it can't be this rough. It, this can't be life. All right, this can't be life. There you go, just give me the lane. 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 You feel me? Just give me the lane. I don't know what's going on. All right, yeah, give me the damn lane. Okay. Now I'm also aware uh, that these cars, they have compressors in them. So I'm gonna have him look at that as well. There'll be a few things I get checked out. Okay, this morning. But as you can see, yeah, she's still riding. And to be honest, I spend less in repairs than you would on, let's say, full coverage, okay? Again, damn near coming to a complete stop, and she's still good. Now, if this thing pops off, what will happen is y'all motherfuckers are gonna see smoke come from the engine live on air. That's if she pops. But you know, I didn't I didn't made it back to the hood. Shit, we didn't got to the we didn't made it off the freeway. We didn't made it to the hood. Okay. No rumble, no rattle. You know, if a head gasket was about to go out, I wouldn't have been doing 90 miles an hour on the freeway. You feel me? And, and, and you know, stepping on the brake, stepping on the gas, stepping on the brake, stepping on the gas. You know, uh, well, the, the funny thing is, um, being that the water pump is is out, uh, another thing that's helping with the overheating is the fact that I'm driving. Okay, you said, "Am I going to the Honda dealership?" No, 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 no. I told you, I, I got, I got a guy. Uh, you know, he he is my professional true Freeman. He is the expert. Um, when it comes to foreign cars, Hondas, uh, and all of that. So a dealership would actually probably charge me more and they would probably want to do more than I needed them to do. Again, I'm at a complete stop. Y'all don't see no smoke. Engine still running good. Let's make this turn, boom.
okay. Now we back in the hood. Take a good look. She still is not overheating. All right. All right, only cars I've ever seen perform like this is Hondas. I, I've never seen any American car do this. Okay, now with an overheating problem. There's no way you could put this type of distance and your shit don't pop off again. Okay, but like I said, all y'all saw me do was put, like I said, some Gorilla tape around that overflow just to prevent it from popping off again. I know, but to buy a new Honda, I would spend double on what I paid for this one. Hell, in some cases, triple. Why would I take $7,000 of an investment, throw it away, to spend $30,000 and in five and 10 years, I'm gonna still have to fix that Honda. Okay. Now, unfortunately, my mechanic is not open yet. He doesn't open until uh, eight o'clock. So what we're gonna do now is try to get something to eat. Cause he ain't even here yet. Let's see, I bought this Honda, uh-oh. Uh-oh, yep. There you go, it popped. Y'all see the smoke? It popped off. Come on, lady. Are you gonna let me buy what? No? Okay, well. See that? Do y'all see the smoke? You see it? So now we're gonna pull right up on the mechanic. Okay. Look. You see? She overheating. You see that? Now she's overheating. I told, remember I said that 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 tape was just a temporary fix. All right, it's a temporary fix. Okay, you see? Did y'all see the smoke? You see it? Okay, now watch. I'm gonna show y'all where that's coming from. Oh, I'm good. I'm at the mechanic now. Now I'm gonna show y'all where that's coming from. All you smell is antifreeze. Y'all see? See how that popped? That is my water pump. Yep. Yeah, that's the water pump. See, it's not leaking from there. Looks like, and see the water pump is located right there in the back. So that is the water pump. No, it ain't gonna catch fire. But, you notice, like I said before, the temporary fix to that, well, if it's a thermostat, it could be, but I, but I doubt it, because I've, I've had the thermostat done. Tyra gonna tear me up because I'm sitting at the repair shop waiting on a mechanic so he can put a new water pump in? Tear me up. Tear me up. Tear me up. Because I had to replace a 19-year-old water pump Hey, come get me. Come get me.
Okay. Yeah. I'm just showing people what to do if they have a 2002 Honda like myself, how to get out of a sticky situation. Well, Officer Farber, you can come and put the water pump in and I will pay you $300. Go ahead. I'm, I'm right here at the mechanic. Look, you got 30 minutes. Come on and beat him up here and you got $300 cash in your, in your pocket. Quick 300. Go to AutoZone. Come to the shop right here. Put it in and you got $300. What's the problem? He'll be here in 30 minutes. Let's go check out the motor. Bro, I didn't spend less money on my car than you spent on yours, Neptune. That's a fact. This is a VTEC engine. All right. It's up there. You don't even have a car. Get a car first. Oh, the radiator was leaking. It would have dripped out when I poured the antifreeze in. I guess nobody was watching that part, huh? I mean, if it was leaking, there's no way in hell you were doing 90 miles an hour on the freeway with antifreeze leaking out your shit. Especially stopping and going, stopping and going, stopping and going. You said, look under the car. No, I want you guys to look. I don't know you look. No, no, no. You look under the car. Okay, here. Yeah. You go look. Okay, outside of that shit that just spilled just now, ain't nothing leaking out of there. You see something dripping? The only stuff that's falling is the stuff that came out of here. You don't see no antifreeze leaking nowhere else but here. Oh, you said 10K in repairs. Well, if I did 10K repairs, on a seven thousand dollar on a seven thousand dollar Honda, um, I would still come out cheaper than buying a new one. But I didn't do ten thousand dollars repairs on a seven thousand dollar Honda. No, 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 sir. You do your math wrong. I paid three thousand for the Honda. I put four thousand dollars worth of work in it, so that would make my car value at seven thousand even. No, no, I didn't switch up. You're new. You haven't been here. Do you realize I've had this car since 2018? And every time I've done something on it, repaired it, whatever, I've done it live. Okay. Bro, the value, <laughs> the value doesn't go up on anything mechanical you buy. That, that's so silly. Well, no, 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 Vaughn Street. We, we already did checks on 2002 Hondas. They're five and seven thousand dollars. Even if you went to go buy one right now, go shop for an 02 Honda and you'll see for yourself that they got Hondas with more miles than mine and they want seven and eight grand for them. Yeah, we looked that up already. But I don't see the big deal in throwing a whole car away that just needs a water pump. Y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't. Um, well, yeah, I'm a mechanic's dream because my job or, or my goal is to put a turbo kit in my Honda and have my shit souped up like them white boys on YouTube. What's the blue? What's the blue book value on a souped up Honda with the turbo kit put into it? You can't put a turbo kit in a Lexus. You can't put a turbo kit 
and I mean, you probably could in a Chevy or some shit like that. Bro, it's not a Civic. It's an Accord. Go look up the a Honda Accords that got the turbo kits in them. Don't get mad at me. Get you a Honda. All right? Don't get mad at me. I'm going to put the turbo kit in this bitch. Uh, I'm going I'm to put a uh, larger exhaust on the back. Oh, yeah. But before I do all of that high tech shit, I have to repair the 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 basic shit. No, no, no. I'm not trying to sell my car. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep my car. Yes. When I put all the racing shit on it, I'm going to keep it. I know you haven't done that. You said, don't put the wing on it. No, no, no. Um, I'm thinking about like one day, uh, 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 putting one of them fucking, uh, hoods with the, with the fucking thing on it. So the engine can breathe more. I forgot what it's called. No, I'm not slow. You just, you just don't know how to use Google. Like I said before, we looked these Hondas up already and we saw all of the Hondas range from three to $7,000. Yeah, the carbon fiber. Yeah. I mean, you guys don't don't do this with your cars. You, you you go to the dealership, you go, you know, lease a goddamn fifty thousand dollar car, spend ten, twelve thousand on that twenty five, thirty thousand car, then trade it in and go start another lease. You're leasing cars. It's like there's no ownership there. There's no perks there. It's not like, OK, well, I, one day I'm going to come out this lease. One day I'm going to come out this uh, uh, full coverage insurance, maybe I can upgrade my car, you know? Well, yes, blessed always. As long as, as long as I could pass you up on the freeway, I don't, I don't really care about price being less or more. I mean, I, I pay for, for performance. I don't pay for looks. I, I, I could care less about a radio, a TV, Wi-Fi signals, heated seats, uh, uh, all of those amenities, you know, OnStar. You know, none, none of that stuff impresses me. Okay, what impresses me is when I step down on the gas and I'm doing 90 miles an hour while my car is overheating and I literally go 15 to 20 miles. Now the, now the test for all of you is, let me see your car overheat and go the distance that I went. That's all. That's all. Look, hey, look, I put mine up. Now it's y'all turn. Show me, let your new car overheat and let me see you put the distance that I put on my car while it was overheating. Okay? That's all out. That's all. Talk about time capsules. Talk about all that other shit. All right? Talk about all that other shit. Let me see your car go the distance that mine went while it was, uh, while it was overheating. That's all. Jumping on the freeway. Jumping on the street. Toyota and Honda go hand in hand. But I'm surprised so many people say, throw the car away over a water pump? Wow. Damn. Y'all throw cars away because your water pump goes out? Damn. I need to be around y'all niggas. I need to I need to be buying cars off y'all because I'm gonna get the car for half price. Y'all letting it go because the water, oh man, it's overheating. I want to sell it. Give me eight thousand. I'll give you four thousand. Bro, I'm from the nineties. See, by that comment, you telling me that you was born in two thousand. Officer Farva, you, you telling me that you a 21st century baby.
Hey, man, you telling on yourself. I was born in 78. I'm not going to dress like no millennial. What the fuck I look like? All right, bro. I wear three X's. You said spending 7K? No, no, no. I only spent 35K. I only spent 35K. Okay. Well, you know what I mean. I didn't mean to put the K on it, but you get it. 3,500. I showed you the receipt. Y'all y'all got bad memory? Y'all don't remember the day on 2018? Let me show y'all where I bought this car from. Y'all see that? Y'all see that lot where them cars is parked at? That's the dealership where I bought the car from. Right there. Oh, you got a you got a Camry with 295,000 miles on it. My god, how did you do that without fixing on it? Jesus Christ. Oh man. 295,000 miles. Yeah. Yeah, the crooked lot that tried to steal the car back from me. Yeah, that crooked lot that tried to take the car back from me. Couldn't have been a bogus car if they were trying to steal it back. Notice when I got the catalytic converter done, I hadn't had the, I didn't have to get it redone. The catalytic converter still working. No, they, they were pulling a, they were pulling a lick. The dude, they got GPS in all the cars. I'm paying on the car. And right when I get to about, I think I had owed him like eight, $900. All of a sudden, this motherfucker come in my driveway and snatch my shit. Now, it was a bunch of cars parked on the street. He passed up all these cars to come directly to my driveway. I remember the police telling me that it was a sting operation. They had hit 150 cars. They were all from uh, 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 dealership lots. These motherfuckers had the, uh, the GPS tracking systems. They had all of this shit. Okay. When I went to the owner, because I, I wasn't dealing with the owner of the dealership, because the owner of the dealership said, yeah, I fired that dude. Okay. The police came in here looking for him. I fired that dude. So when I got with the owner, everything was straight after that. Because I showed the owner the insurance that the guy gave me. And he said, bro, I don't even do insurance at this day. He said, bro, if I would have saw you, you would have had to bring insurance with you before you, before you would have been able to leave my lot. You couldn't have got insurance from me at this lot. And I said, bro, I showed him the paper. I said, look, you do look at your dude's name. He went and got this insurance and it was bogus. And I drove off your lot with bogus insurance. Remember that y'all? I, I had to make a police report and all that other shit. Cause I was not trying to get caught in his fuck shit. I didn't know what the hell this nigga was doing. So yeah.
they came. They, I saw, I saw where they pulled the GPS was hooked to this thing right here. And I had, I had, I had my mechanic disconnected. See, I had my mechanic disable that bitch. Like real talk. Oh boy. You know what, man? Hold up, y'all. Say, have I ever owned a car off the lot? Well, yeah, but like I said, my whole object of doing that was I was trying to build a rapport with the owner, which I still have. You have to keep in mind, when I got this car, guess what you can't do on a car lot? You can't go get a car off the lot without a job unless you're paying for it flat out. Now, I was able to lease with this owner without a fucking paycheck stuff okay so yeah i would go and get another car off his lot damn straight damn straight i go get another car off his lot Well, if I couldn't afford it, right. Well, well, blessed always got it right. I put 2K down, drove off the lot. Then I was paying them early. So when I go, uh, to go get another car from me, shit, they probably might be a, a, a Chevy or like I said, you know, um, I might be an Impala or some shit like that. Or I might go get my fucking dream car, which is a Crown Vic. That was that 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 car right there was a car that I always wanted. Out of all the cars that I've owned, it was certain cars that I wanted. And the Crown Vic is one of the cars that I definitely want to have in my collection okay I love driving crown fix you know I'm not a I'm not a uh, I'm not a like a, a big fan of big cars but man that fucking crown Vic yeah I will drive the fuck out of that shit either that or I, I would want an old school Monte Carlo nah caddy caddies is, is too pricey when it comes to repairs okay you said, am I sick because the car is always having problems? No, blessed always. I'm, I'm not sick. No, no. You said, what year? Um, it would, it would, if it was my personal choice, it would be a V8. Um, no, no, no older, or I should say no newer than 2000. I wouldn't, I, I don't want to go no farther than 2000, but like a 99, 98, like, like the old school bodies, man, them police cars. Yeah. 
I want me an old school police car. Them bitches get somewhere. Right. So you buy a Crown Vic for 2K. Then you mad because you got a fix on it? You only paid 2K for it. Like, what the fuck? I guess when the water pump go out on the $2,000 Crown Vic, it's time to turn it in, huh? I think y'all just like spending, okay? Oh no, blessed always. Uh, uh, do, do, do you have a do you have a lease right now? Do you have a lease right now? Because if you leasing a car right now, what you pay this month is going to be more than what it's going to cost me to fix this car. All of y'all that got leases, what I'm about to spend one time, y'all got to spend this month and next month. I don't see the benefit. Okay, you're going to have to spend what I spend this month and next month just to be able to legally drive uh, uh i can't be weird because i fix my car and don't sell it that's not weird that's normal and uh blessed always you cannot talk shit blessed always you cannot talk shit because you had an old school what was that an 80 something you had an 80 something BMW and you didn't want to throw that car away. You told them motherfuckers to fix your total car. I don't hear that shit. You was, you was ready to pay whatever they were going to charge you if they could have fixed that bitch. I don't hear it. You was not ready. Okay. You was not ready to, to get rid of that car. The only reason why you got rid of that car is because the mechanic said, hey, man, I can't do shit with it. So really, I'm following in your footsteps. You can't be mad at me. This is my BMW. My mechanic does good work. He, 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 he works for $80 an hour. That's his going rate, $80 an hour. I think that's a good rate. It's a flat rate. Okay. $80 an hour. You can't pay that? He said, I'm a C. Okay. I'm talking about the car you told me, blessed always, that was totaled. Let's not forget what you said. You said you gave the car to a family member and they totaled the money. And the motherfucker, well, they didn't tell it, but you said the car got totaled. Oh, 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 now, oh, now memory clicking now, ain't it? Memory clicking now, ain't it? Memory clicking now, huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I had a car that I went to go save just like Vic. Mmm. And I had, I was trying to fix my shit before Vic. Mmm. I'm just surprised that the trolls and I'm saying the trolls. I'm surprised that the trolls honestly think that you would, that I would throw a car away for a water pump. That's hilarious. That's a I should just sit up here and film him fixing it. Just the shit on y'all niggas. <laughs> I should stay up here and, and you know, cause normally I just, I lead a car with him and I just mob to the crib. I should stay up here just so you can see how bad my mechanic is, how vicious my mechanic is.
Okay. Yeah. Oh, you about to see in a minute. Like I said, man, my mechanic, he get here at 8 o'clock. He gonna pull up right here on the side of me. He gonna be like, Vic, whip this bitch around. I'm gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna whip this motherfucker around the corner. Well, here, um, Officer Farber, let, let's let, let's talk. Let, let's add up this uh, four thousand dollars in in repairs that I've done so far. Let's let's uh, okay, brakes and rotors, right front and back. The back got drums. Okay, that was six hundred brakes and rotors, front and back. That was six hundred. I got struts done. In the front, new struts replaced. Front. You see that? That's good. Yep. New struts in the front. Got to, got to do the tire on them, y'all. New struts in the back. My brake light went out. $150 for the brake wire. A wire had to be replaced in that. New alternator, new belts, full tune-up system done, okay? New axle, new front mount, new side mount. You see that? Y'all was talking about the thermostat. There it go right there. Been done. Been done. That's a new starter right there. Mm-hmm. Been done. New battery. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no. It's Tyra time, blessed always. I don't want to hear shit. It's Tyra time. Okay. Let's see. What else did we did to this bitch? Well, you know, I, I replaced the tires. Of course, you know, oil change, transmission fluid flush, uh, radiator flush. Okay. I just had a three-point uh, 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 fuel system uh cleaner done okay yeah mm-hmm and like i said i had to put a new axle i had to put a new axle because you see this front tire this whole tire broke off the car and was hanging on the ground this entire tire broke off the car and was laying on the ground oh yeah i forgot about that thank you blessed always remember i got hit in the front Right, and all of this was smashed in. New headlights, nigga. LEDs, 500. Okay, five, I think it was 530 something. But like I said, this right here, this tire was like over here. The ball joint was exposed and touching the ground. Yep, lower. And control, lower control arm. No, I got to put a water pump in this bitch. It need a water pump. So, Jim, I, I can't wait for you. I can't wait for you to rewind the video, dog. Yeah, dog. I can't wait for you to rewind this video. The way I started it, oh, my God. The way I started it, you know I wanted Tyra to go live. You know I wanted Tyra to go live. Cause he ain't got no car that can do what my car do. Okay, he know he ain't got no whip that can do what the Honda do, nigga. We look, we everything we do with the Honda's on tape, nigga. If something go down on the Honda, it's on tape, nigga. Well, no, actually, let me tell you what's happening. Cause I know you, you know, you the mechanic master. Super Saiyan Jim is really the mechanic master. Okay, you missed it, right? Okay, so check this out, Jim. It's not my radiator, right? The leak ain't here. What's happening, uh, Jim, is that my overflow cap is popping off. It's consistently popping off, like, 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 um, they were telling me, and you probably can uh, either say, yes, this is true, or no, it's not true. 
they were telling me that there's supposed to be a certain amount of water, like a certain level of water in here, and there's supposed to be a, 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 a certain amount of water in here, okay? So right now, there's no water. Like what what's happening here is that the radiator is burning up all the antifreeze, okay? It's not leaking, it's burning up all the antifreeze. Then what I have is I end up with air in my radiator. The air is being pushed to the overflow, Jim, and then the cap with the pressure eventually pops off. Okay. So my fans cut on. You said, so you have no water in the radiator. Well, the temp gauge is, re you know, when, 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 when the overflow pops, then the temp gauge goes up. Yeah. As soon as that thing pops, you know, well, I filmed it. Like, like when, by the time I made it, I drove, look, 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 I drove roughly about 20 miles, Jim. And, and by the time I made it to the mechanic, that's when it, that's when it, that's when it popped. There's nothing wrong with the radiator. Look, check this out, Jim. Jim, you know this test, right? Look. Right, and that's what it's doing. Like, like when, when this shit drains out, boom, it goes like this. But watch this. I'm going to cut my shit on, right? I'm going to turn my AC on. Right, AC's on. And look, Jim. My fans is blowing. Right? So it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing electrical. You see what I'm saying, Jim? You said turn on the heat. Okay. We'll turn on the heat. Hit the switch. All right, Jim. He said the heat helped cool the radiator. Well, shit, man, I'm, I'm at the crib. I'm at the spot now. If it was a head gasket, it wouldn't have been doing 90 on the freeway. Okay. Yes, yeah, smoke will come out of the overflow when it checks out. I'm telling you, Jim, it's the water pump, bro. See, look, Jim, even Jim, because I did my thermostat. It ain't leaking, right? My fuses is good. All that other shit. The only thing I haven't done to this car was change out the water pump. The water pump is 19 years old. Jim, as a professional, do you know of a water pump that lasts for 19 years? I'm just curious, because if you do, tell me something. You the mechanic, I highly doubt a water pump will last, okay, for 19 years. You know, it, it, it's a machine. I never replaced it. Yeah, everybody says the head gasket is blown. Doing 90 miles an hour on a blown head gasket? That's not possible. Okay, yeah, ain't, ain't nothing mixing, Jim. I'm positive of that. Ain't nothing mixing, dog. I could put some more tape on the over. Like what I had to do, Jim, was I took Let me tell you what I had to do. Where is it at? Damn. Okay, Jim. I had to take a piece of 
Gorilla Tape and put it on the uh, uh, edge. You said pull off the oil cap and show you. Okay. This motherfucker swinging. Hold up, Jim. I got you, bro. God damn, that bitch was on tight. I mean, I I, I blown a head gasket on, in in two cars. I I know what a blown head gasket is. It has something to do with the oil. The radiator has nothing to do with your oil, people. We all gonna learn together today. Okay. So, Jim. There's your oil cap. Looks good, Jim. Looks good, Jim. Huh? Am I doing my job, Jim? Nope, you don't see coolant. I might have gotten lucky. After spending four grand? I don't think so. I don't think they got nothing to do with luck. Huh. That's four thousand dollars worth of luck. Oh no, no, no. Like I said, you have antifreeze already in there acting as water. It will burn up. Once it burns up, then it will overheat. The air that is being replaced, when the radiator fluid burns up, it turns into a gas. When that gas builds up, Okay, it has nowhere to go. So it seeps out of the overflow. Like I said, this only happens in Hondas. This ain't for no Chevy, this ain't for no Ford, this ain't for no Chrysler, this ain't for no Dodge. Okay. Okay. Jim, can you do 90 miles an hour on a blown head gasket? Yes or no? Can you drive 20 to uh, 20 miles on a blown head gasket doing 90 miles an hour? Then leave the freeway and do 60 on the street, stopping and going on a blown head gasket. Just asking, Jim. Okay. Yeah, you will blow a gasket at 90 miles an hour. We were doing 90 and nothing blew up. We did 90, we got on the street, we did all of that other stuff. He said, I got $900 already. Boy, stop, man, this is the army of Victor Moan. Since when I ain't got no damn money? Right, well, Jim, you get what I'm saying. The antifreeze isn't leaking out, okay? It will, it, it will basically burn up the gas will build up in that overflow chamber and pow it'll pop off my fault you ain't got no money
Well, gang related, how long you been watching the stream, dog? You need to rewind the shit. Rewind the shit and see where the fucking uh, steam was coming from. You'll see it was coming from the water pump. Well, if anybody wants to buy it, since they're talking about selling it, I'm going to need about eight racks. Uh, no, yeah, I am probably need about eight racks. $8,000, I got the title for you at the crib. Come get it. No, Tyrus Yukon hasn't been able to do 75 miles an hour. Or 60 for that matter. He's only doing like 30, 35. He's going here, he's going there. Tyra don't have no plates for his car. All right, he don't have no plates. There's no registration. It's not insured. Okay, um, you know, my car should break down if I'm, if I'm driving it. You know, Tyra's car sits still more than it drive. What the fuck? Yeah, eight racks for a piece of YouTube history. That's right. Well, if you like, we could do a recap. You said fixing something. Okay, so what did I fix on my car last month, Mr. Smith? Since you said every month, what, what did I fix on my car last month? You talk about last month when I started working my job. What did I fix on my car? And then it, there would be the month before, right? That was when my wife was working. What did I fix on my car then? Well, let's skip last month and go to the month before. What did I fix on my car then? We're talking about shit that kept the car from running. Shocks and struts does not keep a car from running. Well, of course I'm always right. I'm the guy sitting in the car talking to the people that never even rode in it. Yeah, I got to be right. Of course I'm right. Yeah, man. My shit light up. I got lights in my car. I got all types of shit. I got, uh, I got cable television in this bitch. Yep. I be watching HBO, Showtime. Yeah, they mad at me because I spent $500 on the lights. Keep in mind, you know, my bumper was smashed in. They had to, uh, you know, get the dents out, all that other shit. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's like y'all are the people in McDonald's that don't want to pay $2 for the cheeseburger because yesterday it was $1.50. Now that it's $2, you want to hold up the line and argue up and down. You know, I run into black folks like that all the time. They'll go into the restaurant and they'll order the food. And then when the guy comes back with a total and say, well, that'll be 40 or $50, 40 and $50 for that. I'm not paying that. Why did you even walk in there in the first place? It's baffling. I never had an issue. Well, well, no, of course you wouldn't pay 500 from the balls. Only Tyra would, would, would say something like that because he's an idiot. He's never, Tyra has never had the headlights replaced on any of his vehicles. Yeah, man, I'm at I'm at I'm at my homie's garage, waiting on him to pull up.
Well, yeah, he fixes everything on my car. Even even when um, the starter went out. Okay. I brought it up here to him. He had my shit back the same day. Oh, no, no, no. A lot of people have not owned Hondas, color for me. If you owned a Honda, okay, maybe you would understand. Well, of course he went live about me and the car, okay? Maybe Tyra thinks I'm not going to be driving. Well, Officer Farber, you've never owned a Honda before because you'd be able to relate on some of the things I'm talking about. Like everything I've said has gone completely over your head. Yeah, y'all always talk about selling cars. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not into selling my car. You know, that's like selling my house. You know. Selling my car is like selling my house. Right, all this hoopla over a water pump. Oh my god, the water pump went out. The engine's gone. I didn't know the water pump was inside the engine. I guess we're going to find out when the mechanic pull up. Yeah, see, blessed always. I, I wish I was there when you sold your Honda. I would have bought it off you, and I damn sure, and I damn sure would have fixed whatever. Well, whoever you sold it to, I bet you he went and fixed that shit, and he riding the fuck out that bitch. Yeah, he running a little late. You know, hell, he owned the shop. What the hell? Look, you know, shit, it's his shop. You sold it to the dealer for six grand. Hmm. Not bad. So if you sold your Honda for six grand, that means that he sold it for twelve, right? In 09. If he if he bought it off you for six grand, think about a dealer making a profit off the six thousand dollar car he just bought. Just think about that. So you would have came out better if you would have fixed it because for him to give you six grand on an O2 Honda, the repairs couldn't have been that bad. To spend six grand on it, spend another 12, 1300 fixing it, and then turn around and sell it for 12 racks. Yeah, man, I'm good. Ain't letting go of my shit like that. Nope, nope, nope. Ain't letting go of my shit like that. You said it was only seven years old. So hell, girl, wait a damn minute. If yours was only seven years old, okay, I am at 19 years old and doing 90 on the freeway. What the fuck I'm going to buy another car for? That don't make no sense. No, no, no. Now, he told me, well, your engine's blown. Oh, your transmission shot. Oh, uh, you know, that's something to say, well, okay. I need to get rid of this bitch. Oh, your head gaskets is going. You need to go ahead and, you know, turn it in.
All right. So, yeah. Did you keep the two other houses that you bought? Did you keep those? You know, that that's the story I want to hear. Calico, which ones did you keep? Because buying and selling houses and still paying rent, that's kind of like the losing game. You know, tell me, tell me, uh, 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 you know, you bought property and you still got it. Wow. So you had a Honda Pilot that had 400,000 miles on it before you sold it. See, that's a real Honda owner. I'm at 181 and people are saying, throw it away over a water pump. Hilarious. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to be trolling for the rest of the year. Talking about water pumps and throwing cars away. Yeah, just give me, just give me content. Just motivate me. Give me something to talk about. Yes, yes, yes. Give me something. All right. If it wasn't for the crowd, I don't know what I would do. Thank y'all. All right, I don't know what I I don't know what I would do if it wasn't for the crowd. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, you know what I should get, Shady? I should go get me a duster. You remember the duster? Well, that's good. I mean, you know, like I said before. You know, I mean, if that's your personal business, if you're in the real estate, yeah, it's a lot of money to be made in real estate. You know, buy a house uh, uh, off the auction, put it on the fucking uh, website, and boom. I had people offer me 50 grand for my house, and I said no. I had a person offer me 80 grand uh, before the pandemic, and I said no. After the pandemic, someone else came and offered me uh, another 50,000 to walk out, and I haven't left yet. So, you know, I, I just can't be bought that easily. Yeah, they were going to buy it right off me in the condition that it's in right now. I don't know if y'all noticed, but gentrification has come in pretty strong. Well, yeah, a lot of people think that, you know, these other random names of Michigan is actually nicer, but, you know, it's just as ghetto. You just can't buy houses in Michigan for six and five and four thousand dollars anymore. Video games are, is not the move. Well, who brought up video games? You, you don't like video games? You got a problem with video games? Oh, I don't.
Yeah, I don't have a problem with video games at all. Okay. Well, yeah, um, the time I spent on WWE is actually skill. See, you couldn't go and create animated characters of YouTube, put them in a video game, and then stream it live online and then do commentary on it while it's live. Yeah, see, that that's real man work. All right, you you could never figure that shit out. How to make Tyra, how to make Buddy Lee, how to make uh, Nature Boy, how to make World News, okay? I made Diet Melanin, I made Italian Biker, uh, I made ZX. Um, hell, I created Key Dead Man, I made uh, so many characters. I Shay, My Odd Laws, um, you know, the, these things are skill. All right. Well, no, Officer Farm. I'm a homeowner. See, I don't, I don't have the same issues you have. See, like today is the 26th. You couldn't afford for your water heater to go out because you got to pay rent on the first. When the first come for me, I'm gonna watch that motherfucker roll right on by me. I'm dead serious. All right. I pay. Seven hundred dollars a year in rent. So that 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 supersedes your situation. I mean, you, you talk about money. I only pay seven hundred dollars a year for rent. So my priorities are right on point. See, I took care of the the rent situation, so I could play video games all fucking day when I get off work. Cause the only thing I gotta pay for is lights and gas, phone bill, water bill. Come on, dog. Add it up. Add up your expenses, then add up mine. I'm going to always come out on top. Stop it. All right, Tyra, swear up and down. He owned a house, but he paying rent. It's ridiculous. Then when he ain't got rent money, he fixes a wall. He puts up a new door. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll build a... Uh, a backyard uh, 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 fence and say, see, homeowner, this is what I did to your house, so take this out of my rent, please. And being that Indiana is based on squatters' rights, remember, Tyra's going for his 10 year squatters rights so he can go down there and you know own it yep the shop is open on thursdays okay you just gotta have patience which i have very very patient Especially when you get to a shop that's not even open yet, you know. Hell, I could pull the car off and take it home right now. Okay. Well, even if it was 90 degrees outside, I still believe I would have been able to make it. Um, all right, yeah. Now, even if this mechanic said, 
you know, he got sick, he didn't come. It's a it's literally another car repair shop right around the corner from here. It's like two shops, one here, one there. I go to either or. This is my main shop. I fuck with him hard body. The shop around the corner, they were the one that the ones that put a new axle and uh um uh, uh rods and all that shit. I only went to them once. Yeah, business as usual for me. Okay. What up, though? Now, yeah, I was going to slide up on that McDonald's and go get me something to eat. But as soon as I turned the corner, uh, that's when you saw it pop again. So, boom, let me let me go ahead and pull on over. Take it right here. You know. Uh, Y'all have to excuse me because, like I said, I just got off work. You know, something that Tyra don't know nothing about. You know, working. I try to pre-plan for stuff. Okay. That's if you ever owned a PS4. Any owners of PlayStation 4 knows that your controllers will eventually go out. Your PlayStation 4 will outlast the controller that you buy. So you end up spending more money on controllers than you ever will on the console or the games themselves. Now the PS5 said they were supposed to fix that, but hell. Shit, we don't know shit. Well, hell, you buy another car, you still got to fix on the other car. See, that's Tyra's problem. He got the Chrysler sitting there. That motherfucker's rusting out. All right? The Dooley ain't moving. The Dooley ain't moved since when? I'm not worried about nothing. Tyra not going to be driving that truck. The winter time coming. Let me see how them 28s do in the snow. Let me see how them 28s do in the ice. Okay. Like I said, the winter time's coming.
Okay? Yeah. Tyra told me that he was going to do all the repairs on his Yukon himself. That's what he said. Then he went live. At the repair shop. Yeah, my check engine light went on and they told me it was a 02 sensor. Because I got the catalytic inverter replaced. Uh Exact words. Oh man, where my weed at? Yeah, no, I ain't sitting out here. I ain't got no fucking trees. Oh, hell yeah, I'm going to go to sleep, shit. I got to work tonight. Tyra, he'll be talking about water pumps. All right, that's going to be his convo. He's going to tell you about the water pump. Tell you how to water pump. Has destroyed the engine of the Honda. And now it's going to explode. As soon as the mechanic gets here. We're going to start it. And it's going to literally explode. Glad I got a charger with me too. As soon as I light the weed up, he gonna pull up. Be like, bro, you blowing in my parking lot? I'm like, bro, I've been sitting there for 30 minutes. Figure the weed would attract you. Shit. Get a sense. Like, somebody smoking weed in your parking lot. You better get out of here. Oh, yeah. Hell, he never got his fucking... Uh, yeah, he never did shit to that Audi. He never did the oil change. He never did none of that stuff. Oh, you said the rubber bands on the tip? The reason why I put these rubber bands up here at my job, you know, we got to wear a uh, face mask. So the problem with my face mask is um, when I put it over my ears... It causes my glasses to slip if I look down while I'm working. So I take the uh, strap part around my ear and then I hook it on the front part of the rubber band 
So once I do that, it won't slip off when I, you know, I can show you like, you know, they say I don't have no skills, but I create shit on the spot. You know, because if you wear glasses like myself and you put on a face mask, okay, and I put it on, I hook it on this side. I hook it over here and I slide it up like that. So you see now I had a strap. I can work and not worry about this mask fucking with me. You see? But that's the trick with that. Yeah, that's the trick with that. I guess it ain't really that much of an idea to sell. You just take a rubber band and, you know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, my mechanic late as hell today. Shit, he, he, he be too late. He gonna miss out on some money. Real talk. I'll go, I'll go, uh, I'll go to the white boy around the corner. All right, he gonna miss out on some bread. Okay. Okay, yeah. You see, he'll pull up late like this. <coughs> he probably ain't had no business in a couple of days. No, shop's open around here, bro. And, you know, on the west side, 8 o'clock, man. The tire shop, he open right now. The motherfucker do tires, he open. Yeah, he got the sign on the door say he opened at 8 o'clock. You know, it's my mechanic, so. He said, Tyra, streaming my live. Well, that's good, Tyra, because cause you saw this motherfucker smoking. All right, and Tyra, I'm telling you right now, I will close the hood of this bitch. Start it, start it up while it's overheating and drive this motherfucker to the white boy down the street. down the street. And have him put the damn water pump on. And I'll pay him. Okay? I will pay him. No, no, no. You, listen. In a 2002 Honda Accord. All right, what it do, what it's doing, what it's doing. 
you're gonna close that top off you're gonna try to seal it so that shit ain't seeping out from that overflow and you're gonna push off to the next motherfucking shop The whole object is, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't push, you don't push the Honda to the point where you don't push that Honda like, like, like that needle shouldn't even be at half mass. Do you understand? When that needle crosses half mass, you shouldn't allow it to get to the H. Do you understand what I'm saying? You shouldn't allow it to get to the H before you cut it off or, or before you go, because if, it's get, if it gets to the H and it stays there, okay, then, okay. Well, no, I, I, no, no, no. I, I, I want YouTube to think the worst, blessed always. I, I want them to think that the car is destroyed, so. Help me with my narrative that, that it's completely broke down. Even though we just drove it. And the same stream that is broke down is the same stream that we drove it, so. And we filmed what it was doing. You know, I, I don't know what else to show. I don't know what else to show. Okay, whatever whatever we make up, you know, let it be made up. I don't mind. I'm the king of trolls. But y'all see the time is 8.43. Is, it, is that clock fast? Yeah, man, I'm going to give him about 15 more minutes. And when he pull up, y'all going to see him. He going to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm be like, bro. You gonna tell me about another dude that was supposed to open up before we am? All right. Oh man. They had to put a new engine in your shit. Damn. Well, you know, they were saying those PT cruisers, uh, that they weren't, they didn't do really do good on safety. Like they couldn't survive an impact. You know what I'm saying? It couldn't survive an impact. Oh yeah. Mechanic is late as hell, y'all. He late as hell. Okay, I hope ain't nothing happened to him. I hope he just late.
Okay. See them his cars out here. Okay, let's walk around, make sure he didn't sneak in on me. I don't think he would have snuck in on me because he see me sitting in the lot. Nope, these ain't none of his cars. And this joint right here will be open. Yeah, man. Hope you all right. Because I haven't known him to be, you know, super late like this. It's not on his, uh, it's not on his MO. But you know, shit happens, right? Now, you know, it's funny, right? Nobody on my job knows me like y'all know me. So last night, the computers were fucked up. So it wouldn't let, uh oh, there you go. Bro. I swear, it's like you my savior, okay? You my savior. It's all on you. Okay. I think, you the, you the master, all right? But I think my water pump is gone. Whoa, what's it doing? Okay, now, um, remember how I was always talking about the overflow? Yeah, remember. Okay, so. I did some YouTube searching, right? And I saw other people doing this with a Honda. And they were saying, well, you know, if the if the radiator wasn't leaking, if you know, this over here wasn't leaking, that 90s and and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm, and I'm popping like this. They said that it's something about it's supposed to be water. Do you know anything about water being in the overflow and a and a certain amount of water being in the in the uh radiator? So basically it's overheating right now. Yeah, and the same thing. But look, it don't overheat here. Mm -hmm. Only here. It, I get I get gas build up and it shoots out. Now I got video. I was smoking here. Okay. Because I just came from work. It was like uh. Watch the water gonna flow while you drive. The air drives it. Okay, so um, you know uh. Let me open up and I'll uh, we'll get to it. You want me to uh uh drive her around? No, just leave it the way it is. Okay. Um. Now I did look. I did my my usual look. I uh, look. I put my little gorilla tape on. Remember, I kept telling you. Yeah. I put my little gorilla tape on here, and I drove all the way to you. <laughs> all right. And I filmed it. And I filmed it. I put it on tape. I said he's got to see this. My mechanic got to see this. Okay. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy every time I see my mechanic. I don't know the fuck y'all talking about. I'd be happy as hell to see him. Okay, shit. He been fucking with my shit for three years. 
that's the man that, that, that know how to motherfucking fuck with the Han Tyra don't know shit. All right, look, over that motherfucker, listen, this dude owned his own shop. The fuck Tyra got to say. Tyra took his truck to the shop. The fuck? Let me get my shit together out here because he going to have my shit back today. All right, he going to be waking me up out my goddamn sleep. Talk about Vic, come get it. And I'm going to go live again on you, nigga. Tyra, make sure you stream both streams now. Don't, don't, don't just stream this one and don't, and don't come back for part two, nigga. Because y'all know part two coming. I'm, shit, hold on, let me wrap this motherfucker up. Let's see, what do we need? We got the charger right here. We need this charger right here because we're going to plug this up. We got to take the weed with us. Hold on, let's take the weed with us. Okay, don't, we can't forget the weed. Let's get the hat going. All right, goddamn right. Motherfucker. That's my motherfucking mechanic, Tyra. You ain't got no mechanic. Talk about you a mechanic. Nigga, your ass is at the shop. And it's funny, he went to the shop after he tried to fix the Chrysler C-Ring and that motherfucker ain't moved since. Okay, Tyra, you got a drop top convertible and you riding around in a big ass truck. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God, are y'all serious? Are y'all serious? You can't be serious. See how my mechanic said, no, no, leave it right there, Vic. I got you. Okay, we gonna go live, nigga. This the same. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, get my keys. All right. Damn it. Hold on, my water bottle leaking on me. Damn it, hold on. Oh shit, fucking switch got wet. Mm-hmm. Hey Tyra. Tyra, I got a moon roof too. Hmm? Uh huh. What you talking about, boy? Hey, Tyra, does your moon roof do this? Oh, shit, that bitch. Oh, look, that motherfucker opened up two ways. Hot damn. You can't fuck with me, boy. Huh? How you, how you sunroof? My shit go like this. And like this. Ooh. Stop fucking with me, boy. Huh? Oh, stop it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stop it. Okay. No, no, Tyra shit only go one way. He showed that shit. Nope. Nope. Tyra, look, Tyra shit went back and came forward. It didn't pop up. Huh? It didn't toot up in the air. Tyra, make sure you get that fixed, player. I saw that shit too. Okay. 
my change in this motherfucker right here. I'm gonna put a pack of cigarettes in here. I need this. Oh yeah, hold up. Tyra. Oh damn, I gotta give him the alarm too. Hold up. Tyra, I don't know if you knew this, but there's a chip in my car key. So if you went and got a copy of this Honda key made, the car would not start. Look it up, chump. Get your weight up. See, anybody can steal your Yukon with a butter knife. All they need is a butter knife, pop the left side of your steering column, and they're going to drive off on your Yukon. In the Honda... There's a chip in here, homie. Like the Cadillacs? Yeah. Don't fuck up that chip. Remember, it's a farm. This ain't no Oldsmobile, nigga. This ain't no Buick. In fact, I'm gonna put this shit in the bag. Got a bag back here. What am I doing? Carrying all this extra shit. What is it in the bag? everything I'm gonna get off this bitch. All right. Here you go, bro. You know, I be on YouTube. I got haters, man, because I be telling them, I said, you you are the best mechanic on the planet. You hear me? Okay. If this man right here was to pull out the work he done on the Honda, it would be like reading an encyclopedia. Like real talk. My man. I'll call you shortly. Yeah, like I said, uh, I know you're going to do the fuses and check all that other good shit. But whatever it is, yeah, bro. Fix it, I got you. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That's how we do out here. Ooh wee. You heard that? All right, whatever it is. Fix it, I got you. And we and we 
and we strolling. Ty, remember, remember, remember these strings when I used to walk through the hood with no gun, Tyra? I used to step through the hood, be on foot, nigga, and say, Tyra, you can't do no shit like this. Now, you know why I'm looking back, right? Because I don't want to get hit by no car, nigga. I'm in the middle of the street, so I'm going to look back, Tyra. I hope you don't get mad that I'm looking around because I'm walking in the middle of the street, bitch, nigga. No gun. I ain't got no strap on me, boy. Uh, yeah. This something Tyra can't do at all. You hear me? All right. Yeah, you see that? Like I said, real talk. If he pulled out the work he did on the Honda, it would read like an encyclopedia. That's right. No smoke. That's right. Whatever it is. Hell yeah, I was happy as hell to see that motherfucker. I was sitting there like, damn, where my man's at? All right, well look, I've been playing myself for three years. Why y'all mad at me? There's not one thing that that man had fixed on my car that I had to bring back and he had to fix again. Why y'all mad at me? Okay. I mean, y'all pay rent. And I tell y'all to stop paying rent and become homeowners like me. I guess that makes y'all kind of dumb, huh? Because see, the money you spend in rent, I'm about to spend fixing my car. And again, I don't have to pay a monthly fee for that. It's just a one-time fee. Tyra, make sure you got your 200 for when uh, uh, Fred Bowl come looking. Because he going to be looking for his money. You understand? Fuck your cars. Fuck, fuck whatever you got to do. Okay? He going to be looking for that check. Okay? And I'm pretty sure he ain't buying uh, no more of this while I'm fixing on the house. So take it out of that. Yeah, I, I don't think that's flying with him no more, player. I don't think that's flying with him no more. Hell no, I ain't gonna catch no Uber to work. He's gonna have my shit back today. That's what I said. Tyra will take your car for an oil change and keep that motherfucker for three weeks. It takes Tyra two days just to change a tire. Like I said, he gonna have my shit back today. And when I go live again, picking my shit up. Okay? Matter of fact, when I get to the crib, I'm gonna call him. And I'm gonna be like, bro, yeah, check my AC unit too. All right, I might have him. I might have him put a switch in. Like I said, when I'm done putting the work in, he probably be the same nigga I have uh, uh, turbo my shit. Okay. Good morning, how you doing? Oh yeah. How are you, how you doing, bro? Yeah. Now what do Tyra do when he see people? 
He said, don't you walk up on me. Ooh, look, Tyra, there go a dog. Notice I didn't go, my bag. And take off running. Okay. Okay. Yeah. People don't even say good morning to Tyra. All right, he smelled too bad. People just look at him and he looked back talking about something. Okay. Yeah, Tyra, be like me. Okay. Damn it, it's my fucking leg. <laughs> but I'm good. All right, mobbing through the crib. Let's go on ahead, get to this motherfucking spot. Shut up, dog. All right, hold on, y'all. Let me get situated. Right there. Watch out, dog. Move, move, move.
Sorry about that, y'all. You know, I just had to jump in the shower right quick. Apologize for that. You know, nigga, uh, wasn't wasn't fresh in that car. Come on, watch out. And you know, I can't have no uh, shower videos with Tyra because he gonna turn around and start thinking about my dick and my booty and you know, we can't really have that. So, I apologize for the mute, but for the amount of time that I was gone, you know, some of the trolls got, you know, a little unmotivated, they bust up, that's fine. All right. That's fine. I don't know what BH, what, what is that? BHG, I don't know what that is. Right. He'd have been like, remember when you got in the shower, Vic? I got that video. Okay. Well, I know what a blown, I've blown head gaskets, uh, uh, Jim. I know what a blown head gasket is. You ever blow a head gasket in real? Well, I'm pretty sure you have. You said he only had three minutes of this live? Oh, shit. We gonna be here for a while. He only three minutes in. So, he's at the part of the video Okay, look. <laughs> so he had the part of the video when I was doing 90 plus, right? He asked me to open in my radiator cap. Oh, when I was, yeah, because that, that's when I was at the job. Because I was at the job, right? And it had, it had already overheated when I when I pulled into the lot last night. So I said, oh boy, I'm gonna have to fix this motherfucker in the morning. So instead of just fixing it and pulling off, I decided to film it because it's happened before and I fixed it the exact same way. Now, I, I'm, I'm gonna be 100 with you, Jim. I don't know if you recall, Jim, but I was complaining about my overflow cap always popping off. And, and that was the only thing I had an issue with. Now, I was having the issue, what I thought was when I would cut my AC on. But then my mechanic fixed my AC, right? Couple months later, it would do the same thing. So I said, fuck it, it must be linked to the AC. I'm going to keep the AC off and just drive the motherfucking car. Now, I didn't drove it like that for two years, Jim. In the summertime is the only time I have to deal with this. I don't have this problem in the winter. You see what I'm saying? I was dealing with this for two years. So it so we're going to we're going to take the blown head gasket off the table. My question is what other brand of car does like like does these type of feats outside of a Honda? What other car does this? That all you do is put some tape on the overflow cap 
and you could drive for two goddamn years straight. The shit pop, you just put some more there. You said the coolant looked like shit. It was supposed to look like shit. It came out of a gas station. I didn't I didn't go I didn't go to the uh you know um antifreeze premium store. You know, I didn't I didn't go shopping at Amazon uh at, at uh, uh uh antifreeze plus the amazing antifreeze. You need antifreeze? Come to AA Antifreeze. That's all we sell is mainstream antifreeze. Okay. But it don't matter what antifreeze you put in there, that bitch still gonna pop off. I don't care what antifreeze you put in there, it's gonna pop off. So in that sense, it's only one thing to do. Research. And realize it's the water pump. Why? Why? Why are y'all so? Why? You know? Why can't nobody say? Well, yeah, Vic, it probably is the water pump because you ain't never had the water pump replaced. You replaced the alternator because the alternator went out. It was the factory alternator. Okay. No, it wasn't Gumpy in the radiator. You can rewind the video or, or go to Tyra's screen. He, he's showing it in slow motion. He's showing it in slow motion. Okay? He's got this same live show going in slow motion. He said, he said just ask me. Oh, no, man. I'm just saying, don't nobody want to ask the owner... Or take the owner's word for shit. We got to make it up as we go along. Come on. Now, now, now Superman, you got to stay with the theme. We are making shit up now. We are making it up. Oh, you said you're looking for the issue? Well, I told you what the issue was, bro. I, I, I promise you, that's really all it is. Nothing more. Nothing more. But I want people to think it's more because, you know, I'm the king of trolls. So I would really like for people to think it's more. You know, gives me more to talk about. Okay, it does. It gives me more to talk about. All right. At least that's what I hope. You dig? At least that's what I hope. But I highly doubt. Okay. When I'm driving, anybody turns around and, uh, well, Tyra, you know, he, he's going to be shitty. Okay, he's going to be shitty. Because he's going to say to himself, damn. Vic really did fix that car.
Okay. Yeah. If it was too much for the Honda, I wasn't doing 80, nigga. I was doing 90. You better keep watching the video. 80? Nigga, we was doing 90. Floating that bitch. Floating that bitch, okay? Got to the street, nigga. We was doing motherfucking... Hey, wait. When we got to the street, nigga, we was still doing 60, 75 in the street. Shoo, shoo, cutting corners and shit. What? You better get you one. <laughs> what? Cutting corners. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Said Cadillac. Oh no, nigga. You might as well got you a BMW. Cadillac? Bro, I ain't trying to fix on no Cadillac. Oh no, I'm good. Okay. Your one tire cost the price of four of my tires, bro. Okay. I get a brand new tire for $50, bro. Uh-uh. One brand new tire. Nigga, that's 200 for the set. I'm good. And I promise you. Okay. You said sports mode. Bro, I'm about to put the turbo in the Honda. Look, you see what that bitch doing. With a bad water pump. Imagine what that bitch gonna do with a working water pump. Okay? And a turbo in it. Stop, man. Look. What do you mean what happened to the grill room? Shit, what happened to it? You act like... I'm not doing that either. Shit. Y'all swore I wasn't going to start doing that. When I was showing motherfucking items and products, y'all niggas wasn't even in the building. But you think I don't still sell weed? Oh, okay. All right. I think you mad. Shit, bro. I got the lights in the tent right now. Want bet money? I got the lights in the tent right now. You want to bet money? Why do you think Tyra was mad when I fucked around and got the uh, uh, the motherfucking uh, draining machine? Huh? Oh, you said it's a desk lamp? Oh. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to show you, huh? Hold on, bro. My motherfucking wallet was wet. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened, man. But, uh, you know, I ain't taking no chances. 
And uh, we disinfecting everything that was in my fucking wallet. I don't know what the fuck this is, but you know what, though? That's fine. That's fine. That's why, I, you look, man, I disinfect all my shit. Fuck y'all talking about. Mm-mm. Don't play them games. Nope. Got my ass in the shower. Oh no, I don't have on any pants. I'm in my I'm in my drawers right now. Okay. All right. I'm literally standing here with no pants on. What, you don't believe I came out of the shower? Look how clean my nails is. Ooey. See, I just got out of the shower. Look how clean my nails is. Mm-hmm. Oh, my mama. Now, one thing at a time. Where'd the guy say that I ain't had my lights? I mean, I'll put some shorts on. I got shorts. Let me find my shorts. You know, so so the people don't see me naked. Damn it. I need to see a pair of shorts. Need a pair of shorts. No, nope, need a pair of jeans. Okay. But as you can see, it go a clean pair of jeans, <clears throat> right? Clean pair of jeans. Now I'm going to put these motherfuckers on. Okay, bam. See? Jeans. All right, y'all happy? I'm fully dressed. Me can't even walk around his house in his drawers. The fuck? I put some clothes on, okay? <laughs> All right, baby. I know you want me to scratch your back. But wait a minute. Hold up. I got to show my man these lights. Don't go nowhere. Talk about pump faking, huh? I gotta show them these lights in this tent. All right. Matter of fact, where my light switch at? I want you to see this, son. Okay. Thinking we playing? What? All right. Boy, stop. Boy, stop. All right. Boy, stop. Don't hate on me. Don't hate on me. I want you to look it up and tell me how much it costs. No, no, don't laugh, nigga. Talk your shit. What's that? That look like the tent that go with it. But you don't know nothing about that. What's that say? 311 by 311 by 6-7. Oh, bro, stop. Mm. Don't hate. Appreciate. I want you to notice I'm on my back patio, which is on the outside of my house. Okay? Yeah. I'm on my patio. It's completely enclosed. Outside my house. See, this is really my back door. But this is the door that goes outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any other questions, comments, or concerns? Let me know. All right. Now, 
like I said before, I don't know what the hell was, was on my wallet. I don't know what the fuck. But you know what? I I know how to disinfect my shit. Fuck that. I will strip shit down. My my wallet is leather. So unlike Tyra's cheap ass shit, I can literally wash my wallet in the sink, nigga. Okay, sit this motherfucker out to dry and it's gonna dry. Just like that. The fuck? I don't know how my shit got wet, but I know how we gonna take care of that shit. Mm. My shit smell clean in a bitch. Now, this might sound crazy to y'all, because like I said, you know, I don't like germs. I, you know, I'm paranoid like that. <clears throat> you know, some shit wet that wasn't supposed to be wet. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck it came from. You know, did, did I drop it outside? Oh, no. See, there you go. Just get a new wallet. Well, I promise you. My leather wallet is A1. Okay. All right. Disinfect this motherfucker. Let it sit. It'll be dry by the time my car ready. Understand? It will be dry by the time the car is ready. Tyra live streaming the show. He mad than a bitch because <clears throat> you know I did a DIY today, and it was a do it yourself by taking it to the mechanic. That's how you do it yourself. You do it yourself. You take the car to the mechanic yourself DIY so now I'm pretty positive that it's the water pump you know I'm betting all my, my beans now it could be something else but as the car I literally you know I did the whole tape thing on the overflow my wife know about it okay got got my beautiful wife here now wifey would you please tell these ignorant motherfuckers that my car has been overheating for at least two years. Yep. Even when you was at work. Yep. The only time it didn't overheat was in the winter time, right? right? We didn't have no problems in the winter time, but if the summertime, that motherfucking overflow popped the fuck off, right? Yep. Okay. So it can't be the head gasket, because they, they said it was the head gasket. I said, how is it the head gasket? Me and my wife been driving that motherfucker three motherfucking years. Oh, we? I guess I can eat some bacon and eggs and sausage. Yeah. Okay. You said, why would I just keep driving it? Because it's a Honda, Miss Betty Boo. Shitting on these boys. It's a Honda. That motherfucker don't die. Toast too? Yeah, I can eat some toast. Thank you, dear. Miss Betty Boo, that motherfucker don't die. Every other car I know on the planet would have died. 
But you saw me put new struts on that bitch, alternator, starter, all types of shit, struts, everything. Because every time I turn that key, Miss Betty Boop, that bitch turn over. And when I put it in reverse, she back out. And when I put her in drive, she doing 90 on the freeway. The fuck? That's why. I know. So the thing is, Miss Betty Boop, my money in my little wallet got wet. So I'm in the process. Now, look, I like I said, I could de-germ some money. That ain't hard. Soak, these, soak this motherfucking money in some disinfectant. Swirl that shit around. Pull it out and let that shit dry on the counter. Okay, before I touch the motherfucker again. You feel me? This is how we stay germ free. You said all cars die eventually. The car that I have right now has gone beyond 900,000 miles. There are people, look, Miss Betty Boo, come on, dog. Black Rampage was driving a Honda Civic that had 300,000 miles on it. Come on, come on. That's the same car he pulled up on Tommy on. Come on, Miss Betty Boo. Let's be real now. I'm only at 181. Oh, I'm gonna hit 200. Guarantee you, I'm gonna hit 200. I'm gonna film it too. What? I bought that mo Miss Betty Boo. I bought that motherfucker with 129,000 miles on it. I didn't put over 50,000 miles on that car. What? That motherfucker light up at night, Miss Betty Boo. It light up at night. My car get HBO, USA, Lifetime, BET, Showtime. Are you crazy? My car got Xfinity in it. You know what? Man, stop. Okay. The only thing my radio play is MP3s. So when I hit a bump, my music don't skip. Oh no. Okay. Uh uh. Okay. The Honda gonna be there just like that ugly ass winter sweater y'all don't like me to wear. I don't know what you're talking about, Miss Betty Boo. I put fifty thousand miles on a car, and 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 you you complaining, Miss Betty Boo? You would ride with me in the Honda, even if that bitch was overheating. Okay, you would ride with me. I don't know what you're talking about. I'd have had the black sector in the car. I'd have had LA in that car. I'd have had Will C in that car. I'd have had the mayor of Detroit in that car. I'd have had fans pull up on me in the Honda. Come on, Miss Betty Boo. Okay. I could take you anywhere you want to go. I went from Detroit to Grand Rapids. Look that shit up. That was before I did any work to that motherfucker. Okay. You said my car smell like cigarettes and pork chops? No, no, boo-boo. Let me show you what my car smell like. Okay. This is what my car smell like. This is what my car smell like. This is what my car smell like. Or this is what my car smell like. Hell, Miss Betty Boo. 
I might not go to the left side of the house. I might come over here to the right side. Okay. I might have my car smelling like this. I smell like that for breeze in the back. You see them, girl. Come on, man. Might have my car smelling like that. Who knows? But cigarettes? No, you don't smell cigarettes when you get in my car. You see, let's see. What have I what have I did in the last six months? Uh um. um I did the uh I did the rear struts because I just wanted to stop I just wanted to stop that little bouncing in the back so I did the rear struts um I did the starter and um the the the, the uh, three step fuel injection and um I'm getting that uh, overheating thing done because, like I said, I'm positive it's the water pump. So there you go. Six months of work. Out of 180 days, you get one day, two day, three days of problem, and you throw the car away. All right? Not in East Orange. That's a lot of work for a car in a short time. No, no, no. I, I, I was, I was supposed to get the struts done uh, when the fucking wheel fell off. But I needed a new axle. You said, "Did I do it myself?" I damn sure did, Miss Betty Boop. I went in there and paid for all that shit myself. Yep, I, I did all of that work. Yes, the we look the driver side wheel separated from that car like a Tonka truck, like a Hot Wheels. Vivi was, uh, I think she was in the she was in the fourth grade. I dropped my wife off, right. I think at that time I was going at La Bagna. So I pull into the school parking lot. And when I go to hit reverse, the car won't move. So I step down on the gas and it's like my front wheels are locked. I'm in drive, but my front wheels are locked up. And it's almost like one wheel is turning while I'm stepping on the gas. And this motherfucker backed up and literally dr I drug the car stepping on the gas out. And when I got out of the parking lot and right on the side of the curve, the wheel came right off the fucking car. Okay. Never drive on a broken axle. Okay, never drive on a broken axle. Or well, how about the time uh, the brake lines gave out? I had just came from the car wash. Went to go to the dispensary to go get some trees. I turned the corner. Going down six miles. When I step down on the brakes, my foot go all the way to the floor. Well, no, Honda's never quit. But, you know, Miss Betty Boo, I'm getting ridiculed because I'm restoring a car that's 19 years old. And motherfuckers restore cars that are 30, 40, 50, and 60 years old. I don't get it. Not one problem with the engine. Not one problem with the transmission. 
okay? Everything outside of the engine and trans, I didn't have to touch on. I think the water pump went out, Chris Law. So I dropped that bitch off at the shop. Tyra is doing the breakdown of me basically like driving on a car that was overheating doing 90 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, Chris Law, I'm having fun right now. No, John Smith. I repaired three things in six months. How did you get every month out of three things? I don't, I don't understand. You said if, if you were restoring it, you wouldn't be driving it every day. Fuck me. No, you crazy? Now, that's no. Hell no. If it's drivable, why wouldn't you drive it? That's crazy. That's insane. You doing work on the car and you're not going to drive it? How are you going to know if your work is working? How do you know if your shit... Miss Betty Boo, you doing work on the car you don't pull off in it. How do you know what you did worked? Come on, dog. Okay. No smoke. You were already wrong on the goddamn lights in the tent. I'm at the crib now, dog. You don't want me to prove you wrong on the price of my Honda right now, dog. You, you'll be 0-2 in the chat. I already didn't got you once. Okay? I already got you once. You don't want me to pull out my other phone while I'm here on live. Let me go grab my tripod. You don't want me to grab my other phone, I'm gonna break your heart. Okay. Y'all really gonna be sick when I put the turbo in that bitch. Okay. This is what we know to be facts. I have put more money into my Honda than Tyra has put into all of his cars. This is facts. Now, tell me I'm lying. All Tyra do is buy a car and stare at it. Go decorate it. Drive it to Menards and back to the crib. Drive it to Arby's and back to the crib. That nigga can't even take his car to the gun range. When he went to the gun range, he had to get a ride. When he was selling those uh, uh, porn DVDs, those Venom DVDs. And that's what fucked up his original PC because he was burning them goddamn porn videos on them. All right. I think he got desensitized by making the female porn videos. He started looking at dudes. I, I don't know what happened there. But when he was selling those DVDs, he was riding with Uncle Kenny in his car. Because Tyra's car wasn't running. Well, yeah, he was showing some, somebody's dick yesterday and then wanted me to come back and talk about dick. And, you know, I, that's not my thing. I got to, Tyra, when you get into that homosexual mode, like I said before, you are the person that created the term homo in everything. That is your creation that is something you brought to the black sector of youtube all right i still don't understand why you haven't put that on a shirt you would be a millionaire 
Lil Nas X would fuck with you. And you would go all the way to the top. Okay. Okay, yeah. Tyra woke up this morning thinking about that dude's dick. Like, I wonder if he's coming back to the show if I open up the phone lines. Tyra, oh, I'm just looking at it because I want to see how little it is. What? So you're staring at another man's dick and you think it's funny when you when you look at it you think it's it's comical well yes would you would you like okay who would who would like to see proof that a 2002 honda accord is actually a race car you just have to bring it up to that level you have to spend the money to get it to that level who 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 no smoke said prove it vic okay Okay. I've been doing all types of research. Okay, so, uh oh, let me turn that, hold up. You know, it's funny, all you really have to do is look this stuff up. Damn it, man, why my shit ain't charging? Hold on, y'all. There we go. You know, I mean, all you got to do is research it. You know, all you got to do is research it. See, somebody got they they Honda up to five hundred horsepower. Okay, yeah, here's a, here's a Honda Accord going up against a Mustang GT. Who you think won? I, I mean, no smoke. I, I mean, I'm surprised you're not educated in these things. You know? Or did you just go get you a big body whatever because you saw rappers with it? You know? Yeah. Let's just get past the commercial. You know how this go. Okay. Now, let's get to the race part. Okay. Honda versus Mustang. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, now you're a believer because you see it actually in races. Now you're telling me what I need. But it's hilarious, right? I'm supposed to sell. I thought I was selling the car. Now you're telling me to spend more money on it? That's strange. All right. No, no, no. Oh, look at the Honda. Oh, my God. Huh? Oh, my God. Yeah, you know what? That happens to me, too. All right. Oh, yeah, look. See, this tells you how to install headers. Okay. Making real horsepower on a Honda Accord. Yeah. That's the V6. Okay. Okay. Here's a two th here's a two thousand Honda doing one fifty. Okay. All right. Oh, look, he didn't put the TV in his shit. I think that's the newer model. It's got the same dash, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. You see how that bitch just wham. Okay. Oh my God. You see how that needle? God damn it. That motherfucker went from 20 to 150 like bam. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Bro, if you just look up like I told you, you will see that there's a bunch of people that they made these videos. Okay. From the new Hondas to the old ones. There's a 1985 Honda. Okay, that bitch got 220 on the dash. All right, you think it's a motor swap? No, it's the VTEC engine. Okay, here. You, you, you since you never since you since you know, I know your internet might not be working. Up in here. All right.
Okay. Okay. Now, it says building a budget beast. Okay. Yeah. Valve adjustments. Okay. Now, I think this would probably be the best video Let's for you to watch. Without Wi Fi and jam uninterrupted. Try our student plan. Some hesitate when faced with this. Okay. Hold up, y'all. Let's get past the punk ass commercials. Okay. Oh wow! See, they made his ass. That your brother got something new, and you just kind of. Oh, he was going to the military and couldn't take it. Oh, he okay. also want to. But he didn't want to just keep it. He didn't want to keep it. Right, right, right. Away for a while. And so, did you think about picking up some other different car, or was it just because? It oh, was he the made that's a stick thing? right there. Uh, it was a convenient. Mm -hmm. It was just strictly about having like a four door car. You know what I mean? I had other little cars, hatches on the oh, bottom. Cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then just some uh, mini each one. And so. Uh, on the door panel is probably like he didn't, he didn't read he didn't look it's all stock the only thing i did was opened up i did like a stage two like uh on the intakes so i cut out the runners i tried to port and polish it all you know by myself the best that i could and then uh, it's got a dc header and it's just two and a half yeah two and a half inch pipe all the way to a vibrant muffler um obviously i have the innovative mounts you have to kind of use them just because the stock ones it's a little bit of a hassle but so i got the innovative mounts um i just got the cusco um strut bar which i recently got that i've been trying to find it so it is a it is like a legit one um cheap ebay intake that i wrapped in that gold uh, reflective stuff and uh then the most recent mods are this coyo radiator which i just picked up off offer up and you said, is it uh, out of uh, what kind of car? It's off of a 01 Prelude. So 01 Prelude, a three row uh, radiator. So did you have to do some modification at the bottom? No, the bottom, uh, it, it direct bolts. Uh, oh, wow. okay. Yeah, so it's a direct bolt. It's just obviously the plates on the top mm -hmm. right here that I'm still in the process of working on. I thought I got the right set, but I got to figure something. I'm going to have to make something. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, uh, um, I was too cheap and didn't want to spend like 170 bucks for the the morimoto hoses i think they are somewhere or no yeah it's some silicone hose i've seen them out there but i'm like ah. so i'm actually giving the ebay ones a shot i bought these off ebay up for like under 40 bucks oh yeah and i've been working on cars for a long time and i gotta say those those hoses for 40 dollars is pretty damn good so i'm gonna run with that um but other than that that's, that's pretty much it it's pretty simple when i did this engine i before i put the engine in i resprayed the bay um myself um the paint that i use on the bay is like a refrigerant paint it's like a so if i swap the engine out if i go if i go to my man and he said the only way i'm gonna uh be able to give you more horsepower vic i'm gonna have to swap your engine out So instead of swapping my engine out, I'm supposed to pay $20,000 for that same engine in another car. I'll cap you at $7,000. A new Honda don't cost $7,000.
if I got to come to West Coast Customs, then I'll be live at West Coast Customs. I'll be at West Coast Customs. If they're the only people who could do it, but I'm in Michigan, I know there's a bunch of people that could do it. Bro, damn it. What happened to the uh, the weed talk? Y'all said have a professional come and look at the roof. I had a professional come up there, fix the roof. Then they got mad because he went up there and fixed it. Yes. Y'all folks on YouTube get angry quick. Well, no, I don't have an account with uh, Wish, sir. I, I don't even, like I said, you know more than me. Yeah, that's the funny thing. He stopped the leaks, but the issue is the leak that don't exist. Damn. Well, Superman Clark Kent, if you went on my roof and I filmed it, you came down, I guess they would say that you didn't fix it. It was leaking. You went up there, came back down. It rained. No water got in, but I should still blame you for not fixing it. I mean, you said it, homie. I'm just elaborating. I'm just saying. Boy, when I go live,
I'm waiting on Tyra to call the uh, mechanic and say, yeah, this is Vic's brother. And uh, I was calling to see if his, his head gasket was blown. So he lied to me. No, no, he, he said it was, he said it wasn't blown. But it is blown. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, it's blown! You know. So, um, Superman, you never put a tarp on a roof? And I mean, if you put the tarp up there, did it fall off? I mean, I tried to do what you do. And we see how that ended up. So you never seen nobody fix a roof and then still have an issue with it, Superman? Every roof job is perfect. Didn't know that. You could put a whole new roof on the house and it still leak. Would you walk away and say, well, the issue was fixed. I don't know why it's leaking. I put new shingles up, it's still leaking. Man, look, when I get to the stage of putting rims on the Honda, okay, well, no, no, Superman Clark can't. If it starts raining inside of my house, I will go live and tell you that you were right. The issue isn't fixed. But it rained so bad in Michigan that it knocked the power out for over 500,000 people in the state of Michigan. Somehow, my house wasn't flooded with water. Somehow, that issue wasn't a problem. It was the electricity. Even when I was coming home, checking on the dogs, coming home, checking on the dog. Knock the electricity down.
No, no. It's not leaking at all. I had a roofer go up there probably like two months ago. Then Tyra called a woman who didn't even come to my house. That was a dude. It was a white man that came off that ladder. He was the only one that saw what the problem was with the roof. But it was more entertaining talking to a woman that never came to my house. She didn't have no assessment. She wasn't no damn roofer. She wasn't, she ain't even a person to put the tarp up. Tyra dumbass. Talking to a customer service rep when he should have been looking for the guy that did the work on my house. And I literally showed his truck and everything. I literally showed his truck. There was no woman in that truck. I don't think I'm an easy play. I, I think uh, I think you might be in your emotions a little bit laughing, Carrot. Or excuse me, no smoke. Yep, 600 for the lights, getting the damage removed. Yeah, that cost me 600 bucks, bro. How much you think? How much you think that overheating job gonna cost me? Yep, 600 for brakes, rotors, all that, bro. How much the water pump job gonna cost? Tell me that. Y'all still ain't told me that. If he was putting a new motor in, it would have to be the upgraded motor, bro. And if he had to put a motor in, Nine times out of ten, he would have told me right then when we was live. Well, of course I would believe him. And then I would pay him to put in a brand new mo motor. That you just saw in a YouTube video with the piping and all that other shit. Okay, we would upgrade from the four cylinder uh, to the V6, and my shit would be doing 200 with 150 on the dash.
Okay. I mean, I get it. No smoke. I get it. When the mechanic tell, look, when your car start acting up, all right, you just get on the bus. I'm telling everybody on the bus with you. Well, you know, I got a car. It's sitting at home, though. It ain't running. All right. They said I needed a new battery. I will, but I will think about uh, getting a new car when you come up with my eight thousand dollars. All right, I, I'm gonna need eight grand for the Honda. If you got my eight grand, I don't know. We might, we might sit at the table and talk. Cause I'm giving you a a a. Uh, uh, a rebuilt 2002 Honda. So you know what? I'm gonna need all my eight. Yeah, Sam. Cause I want to do 200 with 150 on the dash. Okay. So my goddamn speedometer. All right, spin and shoot. The same way that it did on that damn video. Okay. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on the goddamn street and on the freeway, shocking the hell. Like when I shoot by him in that motherfucker Honda. All right, that motherfucker hit that motherfucker turbo switch. I might even put nitro boost in my shit. Okay. Oh yeah, you know I'm on my way. Okay. I'm gonna take me a nice nap. And I'm gonna wait on my phone to ring. And when my phone rings, it's gonna be the mechanic. Okay. And he's gonna tell me what it is. And we're gonna be back with part two. And then I'm gonna tell y'all. All right. All right. And, and then we're gonna go get that bitch. Okay. Real talk. Enjoy my shit. Huh? All right, yes. Damn, what the fuck is that? Oh, okay.
Yeah. If y'all see me in something fresh, I'm going to be like polite. I'm going to just rent me a supercar. Like I said, go get that. I think so. Yeah. But where the Tesla gas pumps are out here in Michigan, I'll pass. He said, don't be like polite. I'm going to be driving polite cars. I don't know the fuck you talking about. Okay. All right, yeah. Crazy. But I'm a blackout, man. Get me some shit. Yeah, I fucked up. Okay. All right, I'm a blackout. I'm going to get some sleep. All right, tell Tyra to keep hating. Because that's what we made the live for. I will see y'all in a few hours. Deuces.